another Tahoe. Another trans rebuild that we gotta do. Um, I haven't done anything to it. I'm not gonna record taking it out just when it gets out. So I'll be back when that happens. Here's the trans. Got it out with no problem. This Tahoe is still new, so there's like no rust on it. So everything was real easy to take out. And I just gotta set the strap on it so it don't fall off. Whoa. Hang on. Oh God, I need more. Need more strap. Damn, hard one hand. All right, there we go. Make it tight. But yeah, I got the trans out. Nothing really wrong with this Tahoe, except their oil pans look like starting to leak a little bit. But that's on them. If they want to fix it or not, we we'll just have to call it out. But yeah, I'm gonna take this over there to the table. Ooh, set y'all on here. Ride with the trans. Ooh. What up, DJ? Go. Whole bunch of rocks on the floor. It's stopping the wheels from turning. Yeah, here we go. I can't go up through the front because the front of this box truck is covering the walkthrough, so we won't fit, right? And over here, there's a whole bunch of transmissions, so we won't fit. So I don't know what to do. To be honest, it's not like we can back up the truck and move it because we're, we're putting a fuse block in. It's all torn down. Sorry, I got a hiccup there. But yeah, it's not like we can move the box truck because we're working on the fuse block, you know? Let's see, let me ask. Hey, what are we doing? How? Like, how are we going to get it to fit? Mm -hmm. You're just walking around knocking shit over or what? Got all these transmissions hey, down give here. Give me a box, dude. Give me a clean box. So we can put these parts in there. Is there a big one over there? Uh, I don't know. Let me look. Yeah? Been doing? How's this? Good. Okay, we got the garbage transmission through. What? Come on, what? I gotta get the video going. Shit, why do we got that one over there? Can I use this one? What kind is that one? That's just our extra. Oh, we were draining that one? Yeah. Let's take it off. Just throw this on here. Drag that over there. We take that oh, out. We got it. 
take this thing up. Nah, cause this one sucks, cause it, it leans back and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. Lean back, lean back, lean back. You can play your song while you're fixing it. Lean back, lean back. <laughs> I never, not once, ever listened to that song. Gotta do a speed run of the transmission of the six speeds. Here we go. We gotta pop the pan off, you already know. Clean table, just how we like it. Before I uh, before I proceed, of course. I need to, I need to set up. Hold on. There's a lot more room on this side. Let me go like this. Set that down like that. All right, let me clean this out. Whoa, it's just raining. All right. <laughs> so I made a trail. <laughs> See what's inside. Whoa. Did I leave one in there? I always do that. see what is that fiber no that's metal we got a little bit of metal it's not bad though not bad at all it is not bad at all all right i gotta get the valve body out now
as you know, you got to get the housing for the, for the little clip in there uh, for the harness. You know, you lift the white tab up and then pull it out. I'm probably going to have to get some pliers after that. After you pull that out, then you can take all the inverted Torx bolts out. And then um, from there, you can take it out. All right, took it out. Oh, I gotta grab my socket, I'll be back. All right, return. Grab my inverted torque socket. Here's what they look like. There's going to be six of them. Pull the valve body out. I'm going to set it in the pan. I usually do it last. I don't I don't check them as I take them out. So, as an example, the valve body is the first component we take out, so it'll be the last thing I, I check. Because it'll be the last thing I put in, if that makes sense. You get forward backwards. Alright, take seals out. Flip her back over. All right, now you got some 15s to take off the bell housing off or the converter housing, however you want to call it. So I'll be back. Grab my 15. Grab the 15 out. I'm gonna set those here. All right. And before you take it off, remember there is a seal right here that you have to get off, or else it won't slide through right there. Because it is like a pretty tight fit. I hate these gloves, man. They always rip. Can you see? Put that to the side. Now I can pull it out. Oh, it's I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here. Okay. Let's scoot this over. So I can set that in there. Like that. Back over here. So now I can just pour everything out at once. Got some weight to it. Just set it over here to the side. 
remember where you pull these things out, you know? Remember what's next and what you got and everything, so. Uh, I went ahead and upgraded to these. I won't say what brand these are. But these are pretty good, you know, for abrasion. Wow, these are expensive though, so gotta make good use of them. So you gotta pull these drums out next. Just set it next to the first one that you took out. Just so you remember where they go. Alright, here, if you see closely, let me zoom in just a little bit for y'all. There's a hole right there and a hole right here. Right there. And what that's for is that you have to use some a special snap ring pliers. Because that, that motherfucker's tight. This is what you gotta use. That motherfucker's tight, man. So you just gotta go in there and grab it, you know, pull it out. And you're done. And then, of course, don't flip it over because it only goes one way, you know. Don't do none of that. Just keep it how it goes. Just so you remember. And just put it next to everything, of course. All right, back to the trans. This little guy right here. I like to mark it. Right here where this line is. I just like to to scratch it, you know, to mark it, just so it's a little easier when you're lining it up. You don't have to, but it's just so to help you so you're not really looking and making sure, you know. Now you gotta pull it out. Yeah, so you gotta be careful with this one because this one likes to get stuck. So you gotta pull it like straight out because it's a tight fit. Damn. What the fuck? I'm struggling. What am I doing wrong? No way that was the reason. I just took it out of park. That's all I did. The Prindle was all the way up. You know, then it was in park. And then I just I just moved it down and tried it again and it did it. I don't think that was a problem, but damn. Alright. Let me set that over there. Keep in mind it has a bearing on there. Don't forget. All right, next. Next, we got the the output gear. We got to get the special T handle for that. I'll be back with that. Our Mac dealer's here, so I'm gonna probably head out there in a little bit. But first, I'm gonna get this output gear out first. Sorry, I just like to play with them while spinning it. <laughs> oh, shit. I can't pull it out. I'm gonna assume it's because I still have the tail on, so I'm gonna remove it. 
Y'all see? Yeah, y'all can. No, there's no way to put it on. It's a six speed. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. Hmm. Oh, it's got a... What? Yeah, it's, I think it's got a seal. It just don't come out. Whoopsies. I wonder if I damaged it. I'll let Tony know, but I'll be back. I'm gonna head to the Mack truck, so I'll be back. All right, I have returned. So I don't know how far I can get into this rebuild because um, we are missing some parts and stuff. But we may have to hit up a friend. We're gonna have to buy them ourselves. Just so we can get this done quicker, you know. And we'll We got two six and low in reverse. Check this bad boy out. Let's get the bearing off. Of course, if nothing's bad, we're not gonna replace it. You know, that's the rule of law of warranty. And I guess we'll have to follow by it. So here we go. Going to low in reverse. Or 2.6, I really don't know which one's which, but I believe the bottom side is low reverse. And this is the bottom side. Remember how you put your snap ring? Flip this bad boy over. Let the clutches fall out. So beautifully. Now this thing did not overheat. So there's no need to replace any of the pistons. Let's look at the clutches. Make sure your steels aren't burnt or anything. These seem good. These look good, so let me clean these. Have our clutches here. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them there to the side. All right, let's get the other side off. Again, remember where you have your clutches. Very important. Up the 
clutch off for the ring, like that. All right now we can clean the drum out. Now we can put the clutches in. This is all clean. Uh, I'm gonna spray these off again. Grab the special juice, which is just six feet fluid, of course. All right, let's start with the wave plate, of course. The wave plate always sits on the piston. All right, and the wave plate with us, the wave plate usually sits with the, with the steel. We call it a backing plate. All right, now you put a fiber, coated in the juice, of course. Go with the metal clutch. Put in another fiber. Another clutch. Another fiber. Another clutch. Fiber, another clutch, another fiber, I forget what you call this plate, so you got the backing plate and then you got the, the last plate, I forget what this one's called, you insert this one, with your ring. All right, I'm gonna make sure there's not a stud where the, the ring sits. And I don't see one, so. From the four holes right here, I'm gonna set the ring at nine o'clock. in there so we can flip it over clean these clutches go through these make sure none of these are burnt of course I don't
don't really expect these to be burnt. Either. I don't expect any of them to be burnt. Maybe four, five, six, because I don't know if somehow gets burnt. But as far as these go. Oh, these look good. All right, so wave plate first, of course. The metal clutch. And a fiber, of course. The fiber, of course. Put the clutch. The fiber. And the clutch. With the fiber, of course. Plus, last but not least, another fiber. Now we've got the top plate. Like that. Remember from the four holes. I'm gonna check first. I'm gonna check who has a bridge. And it doesn't. So from the fourth plate, I'm gonna put the ring at nine o'clock. Done. Now I'm going to air check this. So to air check it, you need to grab it from one of the four holes and just blow some air. To try to block the bleed hole so I could see if it leaked through the with the piston. And I don't think it is. Now that's good. And then you flip it over. And you do the same thing from the first hole on the on the left side. Nope. Seems good. I'm gonna check this again, cause with this first one, I'm not used to it bleeding so fast. That's good. All right, 
Don't forget about your, your bearing. Put grease on it, throw it in, and then I grease the, the bushing area where the bushing goes in, where it rides. All right, now we can throw it in, put it back over. And we can throw her in. Remember the marking and the line? You can't see the line of where the the ring goes. That's oh, because that thing is not all the way down. And to fix that, you just gotta fit. You just gotta spin the output gear till it falls. Ooh. Mm. Not this bottom one, but this one up here. I'm scared to spin it because it's gonna fall and smush my hand. So what I'm gonna do is just try to pick it up. Try to pick it up from up here and spin it. Now you can see where it caves in right here. That's what we wanted. Cool. All right, so now we grabbed our ring again. Clean it off. And how I memorize it, because when I open every, almost every trans, the pointy side is almost, you know, towards you. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Let me let me put it in there and I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean. Whoa. The struggle, man. Sorry. I had to hit you. I was not in my way. Here we go. And so what I do is, um, let me zoom in again. This pointy side right here, remember I was talking to y'all? That pointy side, I like to line it up with that line that y'all see right there. That's just the way I do it. Controversial, but who cares? All right, next we have these drums, which this comes first. Inspect it, has a bearing inside.
I cannot remove the bearing. There we go, I got it. Alright, now we can just spray this off. One more brake clean. Yeah, I don't remember. Okay, this is where the bushing rides right here. And down here. They look good, honestly. You can't feel, if you could feel where they ride, then yeah, you might want to replace the drum. Cause it should be smooth. After it's all looped up, you throw it in, of course. All right, and you know it's in because once you turn the drum, it spins in the opposite direction, the, the gears, the output shaft, whatever that shit's called. And, and last but not least, don't forget your bearing. Don't forget to throw it in there. The next drum. Oh, this one's always bad. This one's always filled with metal somehow, some way. This also has a... I forget what you call them, a bearing. Same concept with this one. Up here is where the bushing rides. You can see, I mean, it looks all right. I mean, it's not really worn down too bad. And down here also, a bushing right there. Don't look too bad. And a bushing rides in here, so you gotta... Make sure you loop them up. Throw it in. 
and the same thing. But this time, if you turn this one, it turns in the same direction. As you can see, that's how you know it's in. Tuck the bearing in there. There we go. Oh, look at that. There's some, some gunk down in there still. Lube up the bearing, of course. Okay. Throw it on there, lubed up. And we can throw the final piece into the puzzle. No, we cannot. Okay, we still have the bearing right here. The bearing to the last draw. I need another bottle break. It spins and it has rollers, so I want to make sure this is all nice and lubed up. course and the back and then we can throw it in now we can throw the final piece puzzle in. Let's just stick it in there. And this one also, if you spin the bottom, it spins in the same direction. Actually, it only turned one direction. So, that's how you know. Alright, next, we got four, five, six. So we gotta remove the one, two, three, four drum. Ooh. You all know four, five, six gets burnt all the time. All right, don't forget the seal. And the bearing. Alright, let's put the 456 over here in the hole. Yes, our table is a female, has the many holes. Throw it in there. Alright, let's check the 456 clutches. Oh, okay, I thought that was correct right there. That, <laughs> this little string right there, whatever that is. Yeah, I thought that was cracked. It is not cracked. So, remember how you say your ring? And let's check these. Let's Double check these clutches, man, because I just can't, I really can't believe they're good. Yeah. 
Yeah, dude, these look good. I cannot believe four, five, six looks good. So let me throw them back in then. Here we go. Wow. We're going here. With the steel. And then there goes the fiber. Let me soak it real quick. Steel to a fiber to a steel to a fiber. Steel to a fiber to a steel to a fiber to a steel. And last but not least, the fiber and then the top plate. your ring before I set it in. The purple hole? No, I didn't. Damn, dude, this ring is hard to get in. What the fuck? What's going on? Oh. Alright, let me air check it now. Ugh. Turn y'all this way. Fuck. I'm getting y'all real, real greasy over here. So to air check it, you have to just cover up one of these holes and blow air through the other side. And by one of these holes, I mean the top hole. So you gotta cover the other side and just blow air and you'll see your pop up. So, just like this. Hold on, hold on. Three, two, one. Nice. Put it to the side. Let me let me clean this planetary gear right here. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do, so this sits inside of the 456. I don't like y'all being over here. Face this way. So the black faces down, of course. So we're gonna have to lube it up. I forget what that's called, a washer or something like that. Wait, before we do that, we shall insert our, our bearing. Let me clean it. Up. Yeah, so just lube up the bearing before you throw it in there. All right, now we can throw it in. Throw the gear in there. All right, you're good. Now you can throw the four, five, six in there. Alright, so here we have probably the, the source of the problem. Um, it could be that this is bad, the pump or something, you know, it's all scraped up in there. That's why it's slipping or something, I don't know. It could be valve body. I don't remember. I don't remember what to complain it, but what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to just Throw the one, two, three, four up on here, and I'm gonna check for an air leak. And the one, two, three, four gears, of course. Ow, fuck! I hit myself. Let me check for an air leak. Oh shit! Well, they don't want that to happen. Hmm. I can't tell. I think I hear leaking. Can y'all hear? It's still like bubbles. Let me check again. 